It's Sunday, June 30th. Good morning. I'm Will Konkin with your daily kickstart from Barry 360. Travelers booked with WestJet this holiday weekend appear to be out of luck. The air carrier has announced more flight cancellations, totaling 407 now and affecting more than 49,000 passengers. The Calgary-based company continues to point the finger of blame squarely at the Aircraft Mechanics Fraternal Association, the union representing some 680 aircraft mechanics and tech ops. The AMFA says they had no choice when faced with WestJet's unwillingness to negotiate a deal. Two people injured and a police cruiser caught fire during an incident in Orillia Friday night. OPB responded to a call around 10.15 about a disturbance on Mississauga Street West. Officers say once on scene, they found a man in distress holding a knife. Police say he attempted to approach officers with the knife and after a brief struggle, he was placed under arrest. Officers located two victims outside the residence. They say one had serious non-life-threatening injuries, minor injuries for the second. While responding to the incident, an OPP cruiser had a mechanical failure resulting in a spontaneous fire, not related to the incident, according to OPP. No officers were injured. Some police services in Canada are turning to facial recognition technology to solve crimes, and that has legal and AI experts calling on the government to tighten rules surrounding its use and initiating national standards. One law professor says there should be a moratorium on the technology until there are more rules and laws limiting the risks of how facial recognition technology is used. Another Colts name on the selection board, Riley Patterson, was picked 125th overall by the Vancouver Canucks yesterday. The center scored 29 goals and added 62 points in 68 games with the Barry Colts. He joins Cole Bodwin on the big board, who was selected 24th on Friday. Clouds on the schedule, 40% chance of showers or drizzle this morning, wind pushing to 50, high 17. At your kickstart for Sunday, June 30th, we're back again tomorrow. Until then, remember, the best way to predict the future is to create it.